I think there's two things that have allowed the Hornets to not just compete with but beat elite teams across the NBA. One is the belief. They're not going into games scared of anyone else. And the second is they play a specific style of basketball that is tough to prepare for and tough to counter. They're so team-oriented. They're so unselfish. So what we're seeing is still just the infancy of their basketball relationship. As good as they've been playing team basketball at this point, I think the best is still yet to come. Sure. They know their bodies, and they're going to get their working on the court, but a lot of times you have somebody guiding them from a strength conditioning aspect, I mean, cueing them on certain things. I did worry a little bit, but, you know, that daily communication, weekly communication kind of helped. Player development has probably been the key, you know, to our organization going forward. You know, when we hired Coach Borrego, we both sat down with ownership and with Buzz and, and Larry Jordan and, and looked at the ways, you know, that we can improve this team the quickest. Overall, uh, we've got a draft well. Uh, it's always easier to get a good player in the first round, although, you know, you're not guaranteed. In overtime, a 129-121 victory. Hornets trying to keep their recent run of success going despite dealing with some recent battles with health and safety protocols. We're back inside Spectrum Center where the 13 and 14 Hornets will play host to the 15 and 11 San Antonio Spurs. This guy won't go away. Hornets shorthanded, gave it everything they had, but was not meant to be on this evening. Team will settle for silver linings tonight as they... Drop it 122 to 110. Don't give big picture right now. Big picture. That we are a team. We stick together. We the highs, the lows, we get better right now. So I appreciate your efforts and I all eight of you busted your ass. All right, I'm proud of you guys. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's certainly an odd season dealing with COVID. There's no doubt about that. I think the team makes the best of it, and I think there's a benefit to being young going through this. Yeah. Yeah. Another two and a half quarters, you guys are right there. I think had a 10-point lead midway through the third. Where did you feel like things kind of shifted into Utah's, in Utah's way in the uh, midway through that third quarter there? Uh, I'll probably say fourth quarter when they started hitting all them threes. I feel like we just all got tired. Pretty much it. We didn't put four uh, quarters together. We only put three together. Does it feel like, is it just one of those teams right now that when they get hot, it's just hard to, to put an end to it? It just kind of gets away from you pretty quickly, and that's why they've been so good lately? Yeah, for sure. Hitting threes like that and so many shooters on the team is definitely difficult. So especially when you're hitting like that, the game can get out of hand quick. Thank you. Yeah. Richard Walker. Um, hello, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. How concerned are you about losing uh, Gordon Hayward for significant time? And that would seem to shift a lot of the playmaking duties back to you. Uh, for real, I ain't even heard about that yet. We asked G. He said he was feeling uh, kind of good. So we'll just see from there, I guess. Matthew Coles. What did you guys do well in the first three, like you said, until the fourth quarter when it got away? What did you think that you did well the first three quarters to play, you know, neck and neck with these guys? Yeah, I feel like we was just in the game. I mean, I felt like we had a lot of energy. We wanted to win. And then fourth quarter, like I said, I feel like we just all got gas. <clears throat> Paulo Ugetti. What do you say? Hey, Lomelo, uh, you know, Utah had a, has a lot of fans in, in the stands, you know, as opposed to you guys where you guys haven't had fans in the arena yet. Um, I'm wondering how you felt uh, the difference was and whether that, you know, affects your play at all in any way, whether positively or negatively. Oh, yeah, definitely positive. I mean, I love when fans come to the game. I mean, all my life play with fans. Love the excitement. So, yeah, definitely love when the fans come. Hey, Lamelo, six game road trip for you guys, man. You know, uh, just what do you hope to, I guess, 
doing this road trip for you guys as a team. And JB, before the game, talked about um, camaraderie and wanting to be a stronger team. Uh, you as players, what do you guys hope to accomplish on this road trip? I definitely just want to, I mean, go in every game. Obviously, want to win. So pretty much just trying to come out of uh, this road trip positive.